the other side is going to go to inventory for the surfboard putting it on the books for 100 and tracking the sub ledger for inventory i don't need to make it billable because i don't want to pull this into the invoice we will create an invoice because i'm going to turn around and sell this to the customer but we're going to create the invoice from uh from the sales order in our case so if i record that in a journal entry format over here i could say let's do it with a journal entry what's going to happen we're going to say the inventory is going to say equals the inventory is going up and the other side is going to be equal to the uh 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 accounts payable that's it and it should be over here i'm going to i'm going to copy that and put that over here uh, i have to cut it cut it and put it over here and then i got to format paint this down here sorry about that and this is going to be a bill type form for $100 100 negative 100 inventory up top let's record it inventory is going to go up by the 100 and then the uh the liability accounts payable is going to go up both of those accounts have a sub ledger to them inventory we need to track it by units of items typically and accounts payable we, we need to track who we owe by the vendor notice nothing is happening down here for the cost of goods sold at this time because we're using a perpetual inventory system so i'm going to go back on over let's check that on this side i have to make it smaller so i can see the button to complete the transaction so i'm going to save it and close it save it and close it and then back up to full super sized and then we're going to go on over to the balance sheet to see what happened. K-Paso, what happened? We're going to say that the inventory went up. The inventory went up. There I said it because I said I was going to say it. We're going to say the inventory went up. The inventory went up. There. I do what I say I'm going to do. So there it is. $100 bill inventory goes up. The other side went to the AP accounts payable. So there's the accounts payable double clicking on it it's going up we can see if we had the sub ledger for the vendor vendor we could see the ap vendor balance detail we can see uh the bill here if i find that customer because i i should have numbered it there it is that's the same as normal so nothing really new with because we're really the new thing is happening on the customer side not the vendor side we can also see that of course in the vendor center so now we've got the bill and we would have to pay the bill later but we're not going to do that right now because that's not our point of focus we're on the customer side so now if i go back to the home page we now have made the estimate sales order we've got a down payment and then we use that possibly to help us purchase the custom surfboard which we now have because it's shipped to us now we're going to create an invoice and we're going to apply that $50 to it and then the remaining balance will still be due right so we're going to say all right this is the the critical moment here because we have to apply that credit out so if I go into the customer center now I can see over here it looks nice from the bookkeeping side because I can see that $50 and I can see that I would apply that to the 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 invoice just like we did with the negative accounts receivable method so let's go ahead i could go into the sales order and say let's make an invoice from it now i'm going to create the invoice from the sales order and i'm going to say make a oh no wait yeah that's right make the invoice and then create the invoice for all yes and that's what i want to do so then i'll tab it through this is going to be 0609 let's say 27 tab 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 and so now the invoice pulls in and we're charging 175 we bought it for 100 sales tax is going to be charged for 1356 what's this going to do when we actually record it it's actually kind of complicated the invoice is going to cause accounts receivable to go up by the 188.56 the other side is going to be revenue 175 the amount that we charge the different sales tax 1356 is going to be going to a liability account and inventory is going to be going down by a hundred dollars which is not on the report but is driven by the item and cost of goods sold is going to go up by a hundred dollars the effect on net income will be the sales price 175 minus the cost of goods sold 100 dollars and the sub ledger for accounts receivable will be impacted 
for customers as well as the sub ledger for inventory tracking the items. So actually a lot going on here. And so we're gonna say, let's check that out in a journal entry format. And let's check that out from a journal entry format. That's what I'm gonna say, that's what I said. So we're gonna say that this is gonna be accounts receivable is gonna go up. Wait, let's do it this way. This is gonna be an invoice. And then A to the R is going up, accounts receivable for the sales, for the sale, and then the sales is gonna go up or income. And that's gonna be for 175. And then we're also going to say that there's gonna be sales tax payable, sales tax payable, which they're charging us apparently 0.0775. So this should be a negative because it's a credit. This should be equal to this times 0.0075. No, too many zeros. So 13, 13 and negative sum for the plug here is going to be then that means we're going to charge 188.13. 188, 188, hold on. 0.0775 sales tax. 0.0775. 188.56. Is that right? Okay. Good thing I checked. All right. And then we're also going to have then the cost of goods sold for the $100. That's the cost of the inventory. And we're going to have the inventories going down by the